It's been 16 years since Brent Carpenter's life-changing injury. I dove into the pool with a shallow dive, hit the front of my head, and it knocked me out completely. And I woke up on the surface where I couldn't move any extremities. Paralyzed by the accident, the Eastern North Carolina resident never gave up. The smallest little things can help you tremendously, so I have a saying that small steps are monumental gains. Though small steps have served him well, Brent has since regained partial function of his hands and arms and tackled a massive personal goal, completing an annual charity event called The Crossing that takes place at Lake Gaston. The idea is that you're crossing this part of the lake, which is give or take a mile, and however you want to. You can swim, you can kayak, you can float, paddleboard, however you can get across. And a lot of people thought, you are swimming this with a life jacket, right? I was like, absolutely not. I wanted to do this just like everybody else was doing this and show people that anything's possible. Brent's mindset and persistence served him well. We started out working on pool entry and exit, and then working on water safety skills, working on breath control, and lap swimming, holding his breath underwater. It started as a half mile, then I got three quarters there, and then I got to the point where I was doing it consecutively during the week. It's evidence and action that anything is possible with commitment, dedication, and no shortage of cheerleaders. You do whatever you can to get across, first of all. But I have always swam on my back. It was when it comes to long distances. So when I came up to that finish line, I couldn't see. You know, I didn't have eyes in the back of my head. But when I turned around and Susan was right beside me, like, you know, I heard the biggest applause that I've had since playing sports when I was walking. To achieve a goal like that is, is priceless. It's one impressive goal down with many more to follow. I think my goal each year is to make the world more accessible to not only my friends, but just people in my community that's going through the struggle like me. In Greenville, Erica Mizell, ECU Health News.